Evening all, Marcus here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video, and look at this, we've finally got it, it's here, streaming from your Oculus Go to your mobile device, it's here, it works, but does it work as well as we want it to? Well, there are some caveats, there are some things we need to work around, and it is in beta, so we've got to hang with it, but it works, you can do it. Let's uh, have a closer look. All right, so here we are. We've now got a new option in our menu. So if we look down here under sharing, so navigate sharing, you've got the option to cast. Now if I click that, it will stop recording the screen that I'm doing here, so I won't click it just yet. But what it does do, when you click that button, it comes up with a message saying, do you want to start casting and sharing your screen to another device? You click yes, and then we'll show you what happens. So all we do now is we click on cast in that bottom menu, Click start, and then on our mobile phone, a notification will pop up. So I won't show you, I'll show you a screenshot on screen so you can have a little look. We click on it, and after a little bit of thinking, there it is, and it's not too bad. So if we kind of look at the lag, the latency, kind of there's me left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. What I would say is on here, it's not as clear and crispy as uh, it is if you record it sort of directly. So I, when I record videos, I use the inbuilt recorder and I use the microphone on top of my, my camera to record the audio. So it produces quite a nice little picture. But that is, you can't really see, but what I'll do is I'll record this screen and then I'll put it on screen. So now my phone is recording the screen. So I'll put that up on screen so you can sort of see. The view that you see and what I see is slightly different. So inside the headset, I can see the recent upcoming events and following action and adventure section. But on the screencast, you can actually see a little bit wider. So you can technically see four full panels on the, uh, on the screencast, which kind of bear that in mind if you ever see a screencast, that you're not seeing the true representation of what's seen in the headset. It is slightly narrower field of view. The quality isn't great, you'll sort of see it now on screen. It's not as good as what you see normally, and it's not as good as what you see when you record using the, the record feature down here. So if you use this record feature down here to record to the Oculus Go, it's not as good as that. But, you know, it still works, it's fine. Um, you can't use record screen and that at the same time. If you do that, it does all sorts of weird stuff and starts locking up and causing all sorts of issues, so don't do that. What you do need to do is if you want to stop is you click casting and choose stop casting um, and not all apps work so unfortunately it works very much like um, going live so if you ever used going live it streams to Facebook and not all apps are supported so for example if we click on VTime it'll come up it'll go blank on your screen but it comes up on my screen saying casting live streaming not available content content can't be viewed so you can't do that. But if you exit out, it picks up with a live stream, so it carries on. So you do find that out, but it's a bit of a hit and miss. So for example, uh, Amaze works, Wonder works, and Thumper works, but then some random other stuff that I've got on here, like uh, the new, I haven't got many things on here because I had to reset my Go recently, but Beatron, which is a new beta game that's coming out soon, that one didn't work, but I have contacted the devs to kind of ask, is that something they opt into or not? And I'll put, you know, in the community section here and on Twitter and stuff, the answer to that. So I'll see whether it's something they choose to block or is it something they have to do specially to make sure it's allowed. It'd be interesting to know. But Thumper works. We'll click up Thumper here just to boot it up so you can have a little look. And, I mean, it's quite good. You, what you don't get is you don't get sound. So the mobile phone itself has no sound coming out of it. It's turned up to max and you can't hear anything. So that's the same as if you were doing a normal recording with a recording feature. You're gonna have to record the sound separately if you wanted to stream it or um, if you wanted to kind of let, let people listen, you're gonna have to turn the headset up or run a cable out to add a speaker or maybe try and put a Bluetooth adapter in or something to share the audio. But this works, it looks okay. Um, it doesn't affect the performance of the Oculus Go itself. I've not had any issues there. I do know some people have reported that with some apps that if you have them running, um, they can have poor performance on the stream. So whereas it looks a little bit poor there, 
it can actually look a little bit in worse. Like it goes down to like four, five, one frames per second and it becomes unwatchable. So you've got to kind of try it and test it and see which apps work. So there's a bit of hit and miss on what apps work well, what apps don't. It's a beta feature, so they're going to improve it. They're going to make it better. The good thing is things like Wanda work, which is great because what that means is you can do kind of hit the random button and then people on TV could watch it as well or because you can stream your phone to your TV yeah. um, and you know could try and guess where you are sort of things which is quite cool I think that's quite a, quite a cool idea that's something you could do so look we can hit the, the random button and then people have got to guess where you are where are we people where are we in the middle of a desert so you know that's an interesting game to play one thing I would say is if you do lock your headset or shut down your headset it does go a bit weird and stops stops casting, but then doesn't think it stopped casting. So sometimes you have to reboot your headset to get it to work properly. So bear that in mind. If it ever goes a bit weird, just reboot your headset, hold down the button, restart, and then you should be alright. So is it the feature you really wanted? Yes and no. It works for the most part. It doesn't stream audio. The quality that it streams to your phone isn't amazing, but you know it works. It's slightly wider than the field of view that you get in here, so it's not a true representation of what you see. Mm, that's a plus and a minus in itself, you know, it's up to you on your use case. You could obviously stream your mobile phone then sort of mirror casting it or something to a TV if you wanted to, so you could share it on a bigger screen. It works on Android and iOS, so there's no worries there. I've tested it on both and it works fine. You can't record in the headset and cast at the same time, that, but that's kind of expected. I wouldn't imagine that would be a thing you'd they'd offer anyway. And not all apps work, which I think is a real big shame. It kind of really limits the kind of the scope of this. There's probably apps in there that people want to share, so want to demo to their friends. If they're just randomly flicking through things while they're sharing and some, suddenly something stops working, it's a shame. I guess the good thing is, is it just, it just goes blank on the phone, so you don't kind of break the stream, the cast. If you come back out again, it carries on. But it's it's a real shame, and I think if that was included, it you know across the board for all apps, it'd be brilliant. But there are some copyright issues there with certain things like uh, movies and TV and Netflix and all that sort of stuff. So those apps you'd understand, but I think any gaming apps, any sort of social apps and that sort of thing, ah, oh, why wouldn't we have that? And also, it doesn't cast audio. So whatever you're casting to, you've got to make sure that you've got some audio coming out of your headset, nice and loud, on full blast, so people can maybe get have a little hear of it. Or maybe you can get yourself a little Bluetooth adapter and put it to a Bluetooth speaker or something like that. Uh, you know, you're gonna to have to kind of consider that when you do it. When I record videos for my channel, what I do is I have the volume up pretty high on the headset, and I use the inbuilt recorder, which doesn't record sound either. And then the microphone that I've got on top of my camera here it obviously points straight at me and it picks up the audio it's not amazing it's not the perfect solution but it's quick dirty and easy so let me know down below what experience you've had of the casting feature has it worked for you if you don't have it already try rebooting your headset try connecting to your phone and just leaving it i know it's in beta it's slowly rolling out everyone should get it over the next few days but let me know what you think when you get it what you know is it is it what you expected is it that killer feature that we were all hoping it was I think it's kind of half a feature at the moment, but it is in beta, so they're hopefully going to improve it, make it more stable, make the picture better, and maybe add audio and obviously let all those other apps work as well. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, that's fine, I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it, and I'll try to do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And that's me done, I'm out, have a virtual high five!